Madam President, today I am also authorized to say the following. The, the uh, president has received of Russia has received the following from President Yanukovych, and I quote uh, the statements of the president of Ukraine. Uh, as a legitimately uh, elected representative, I say that the uh, events in my place and the events in Kiev uh, have resulted in the fact that uh, Ukraine is on the brink of a civil war. Uh, in the country, there is chaos and uh, anarchy. Uh, the life, the security, and the rights of people, uh, particularly in the southeast part in Crimea, are being threatened. So under the uh, influence of Western countries, there are open acts of terror and violence. Uh, people are being persecuted for language and political reasons. So in this regard, I would call on the president of Russia, Mr. Putin, uh, asking him to use the armed forces of the Russian Federation to establish legitimacy, peace, uh, law and order, stability, and defending the people of Ukraine. Viktor Yanukovych, 1st of March, 2014. So, colleagues, uh, I have an opportunity to show uh, all of you a photocopy of the original of this uh, statement of uh, the President of Ukraine. I show it uh, to the President of Russia, and there it is. Madam President, those who are trying to interpret this situation almost as aggression are threatening with all kinds of sanctions and boycotts. These are indeed our partners who consistently have encouraged political forces close to them to engage in ultimatums and to refrain from dialogue, to ignore the concerns of the south and the eastern part of Ukraine, and in the end, to polarize Ukrainian society. We call on them to show a responsible approach, to set aside geopolitical calculations, and to put uh, above all uh, the interests of the Ukrainian people. It's necessary to uh, fulfill obligations in the agreements dated 21st of February, including the beginning of a process of constitutional reform with participation and full consideration of the opinion of all regions of Ukraine for a subsequent approval uh, in a national referendum and also the establishment of a legitimate government of national unity considering the interests of all political forces and regions of the country. 